Don Barnes here, Red Barnes Audio, and today we're going to do RX Did You Know? Scrolling, Dragging, and Double Clicking. So many people don't know that you can simply grab the timeline here and treat it like a scroll bar. Drag it to one side or the other and your display will scroll for you. If you go off the end of the scale, then it will scroll faster and the further you go, the faster it will scroll for you. So you can move to a different spot in your audio. Depending on your graphics card, it won't always keep up. In my case, I've got the demo software running as well, so that puts a further burden on the graphics card. Most of the time, you can see it display, you can see it display as you're scrolling. So you can move around. You can also grab this up here and drag it over as well. So you have many options, but the main one is grab the timeline, scroll over, go off the edge, and you'll see what happens. There's some other behaviors you can use. You have scales here on the right. And if you take this and drag this scale, it changes the color intensity. In many cases, you don't need to do that. If you double click on that, you go back to your standard. But sometimes you're looking at something here in your audio and it's very faint. You can't see it, so I'll zoom in on that. And it's still too faint, but sometimes I can take the color and change my intensity higher or lower. And something in my audio will jump out at me that was not obvious at the standard display. Simply double click you're back to the same spot you were to begin with. Also, because we've zoomed in on this, and right now I'm looking at the upper end of my scale from 16 to 6, we can grab this and drag it to the top. We can drag it the other direction and see audio if we wanted to go all the way to the bottom. We can now drag this up and down and see different aspects of our audio while we're zoomed in. Of course, there's a little bonus here. If you right click on this, you can change the frequency scale. If I were all the way at the bottom, I'd want to see more there. but the biggest thing is you can drag up and down, double click, and you'll get back to your standard. If I go down to the timeline and I double click, I'll also go back to fully zoomed out. If I were zoomed in, I can use the keyboard to do that, I can use the mouse. I'm zoomed in on this, I double click up in this section, it will also zoom out. So there's many behaviors for zooming in, zooming out, and you can change the scale over here. Once you're zoomed in, you can scroll up and down see different aspects of that, see upper and lower. You can always drag this up and down and change the intensity of your display, which does cause some things to pop out at you right when you need to see some details. Most of the time you don't need that. Just double click, get it back to normal. Double click, get it back to normal. Double click, get it back to normal. So that's a very quick session. RX did you know, scrolling, dragging, and double clicking.